Let's talk about some clothing, actually. Let's go get off all that stuff. So, um, some good clothing news. We have some info here from Matthew Williams and Nike have another um, outdoor sportswear collection in the works. So that's already kind of been produced and we've got a lookbook for it. It's series number three. I'm going to put it up on you on the screen for you guys to check out. Um, it looks really cool. I was just thinking just now, actually just thinking, why hasn't the, what would you call it? Lifestyle sportswear stuff really kicked off. There was a big drive for it, I think, a few years ago, maybe during the whole Undercover and Night collab times, but it never seems to kind of really go anywhere. I think the leisure wear segment of the industry has really kind of blown up. I think there's loads of um, girls out there that do uh, la, 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 what they do, Soul Cycle and yoga and all that sort of stuff, who've kind of taken that kind of leisure athletic wear to the next level. But I think anything concerning running outdoors, um, cross country, even CrossFit for that kind of stuff workout hasn't really kind of permeated pop culture. I'm not sure why that is. Nike has a whole bevy of stuff, especially in the cross training field, CrossFit field, that would work really well as a lifestyle piece. I think of just an Air Trainer One, for instance, the classic um, chlor chlorophyll, chlorophyll. Remember the Air Trainer One, uh, Nike Air Trainer One, chlor. This one, I still think this shoe. And everything around it, especially the vintage archive images of it, right? Um, let's put vintage on here. Ba, 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 ba. Someone got a picture of it, the vintage one. Yeah, I still think this shoe here, this Nike Trainer one, is very, very, very underrated. And there's a lot of scope for it. Imagine if you was able to take this into like a cross training field and able to kind of update it, upgrade it, and make it work for people that do CrossFit and all that sort of stuff. I think it would work really, really, really well. And I'm not sure why that hasn't happened. Um, maybe it's something they've kind of tried to make work and it just didn't kind of happen at the time. Maybe the sector wasn't really ready for it, but it hasn't seemed to kind of connect just yet. So in what it feels like Nike are doing, especially Nike for the most part, they're trying to align themselves with brands that have founders who are quite active, who have maybe a reputation or are well-known for being active in that regard and they being able to kind of take that kind of work to the next level i've always thought a really cool collaboration between nike would be between rick owens right rick owens is well known to be a bit of a fitness freak he loves to do curls he loves to do benches and pull-ups and stuff and he's fairly um he's fairly kind of you know, in good shape and looks after himself very well i think a nike collaboration with rick owens would be really good i think obviously maybe some damage has been done in that relationship due to the fact that rick owens worked so closely with Ada for a long time now it looks like he's kind of uh, dumped or they've left the, the, the they haven't renewed a collaboration with Adidas and now they're doing stuff with the brand is it Beheha Beheha the the kind of vegan brand um, that everyone's wearing at the moment that sort of look like New Balance has got the kind of V on the side of it so maybe that kind of rules them out because there might be some you know um, conflicts of interest there but I think that would be a really cool way to kind of see that work but I'm just curious as to why it hasn't worked in line just for Nike at the moment. But anyway, enough about the Air Trainer 1. Matthew Williams from Elix has got its own collection coming up with Nike, which is interesting because I think it's tight. Is it, is it Elix and Matthew Williams or is it or is it Nike and Matthew Williams? I think it might be a Nike and Matthew Williams, right? It might be with that. So let's just see this article. So this is the following. Um, this is from Hypebeast. Um, it says, after teaming up with for a camo equipped uh, free TR3 and Alex... Uh, head Matthew Williams and Nike have joined forces yet again for a third collection of apparel and footwear. Okay, so it's, it's definitely based um, around Matthew Williams in that respect, which I like as well. You're seeing a lot of, you're seeing Sammy Ross from a Cold War do it too, the separation of yourself from your brand. Uh, so being able to take your brand and do some collaborations with it and then personal projects you do yourself, which is quite, which is the reason why I think eventually why we'll probably see Demner from Balenciaga and, Vet and formerly Vetterman do a lot more personal projects on the side too. Now he stepped away from Vetterman, which is essentially his kind of, you know, playground to kind of mess around and experiment. He's probably going to be able to do it himself with his own namesake, same way that Virgil essentially has used Off-White or his own name as a platform to do other collaborations. This is a very clever way to kind of, you know, uh, segment your work and to also categorize it in different boxes, different little lanes, have, wear different hats when you're approaching different things. You know, maybe the Virgil hat is a lot more client facing, maybe the Off-White hat is a bit more insular you know it's a cool way to kind of do stuff i'm really i really like that approach um so they're saying um matthew williams here the head of a leaks and nike have joined forces yeah again for a third collection the offerings are an appealing 
uh, amalgamation of worker and outdoor gear, all dressed in black and red palette. The collection's theme is personal to Williams, who stated, being outside is so important. Fresh air and sunlight are proven to be two of the greatest benefits for the health and well-being of humans. I totally agree with that. Men's garments include an oversized down parka with internal uh, pockets. Uh, Sherpa fleece, water repellent jackets, and the layered short, which are going to be perfect for this weather. Accessories offered consist of William's signature chest rigs, branded underwear. Most pieces offer adjustable elements as well. Each individual expresses his or her own unique sense or style in different ways. William said, That's why I love about clothing in general, whether it's fashion or sportswear. I find that there are so many athletes that have an amazing and inspiring sense of style, which I definitely agree with. Let's see some of the pieces here. In this main header image, we have a picture of somebody wearing a red jacket nice hue sort of like a blood red and a chest rig with a huge nike sushi emblazoned on the front which i'm not a fan of too much big logos in that one i like the long parker that these guys are wearing in this picture as well it looks very interesting next picture we've got a sort is that a pouch hanging up the side of the trousers with some cool trainers leggings and stuff which i would wear the the hell out of everything in this picture um, I love the red color on this actually. I love the straps that are in front. I'm not sure how they particularly work. Maybe it's a way of kind of uh, pulling up the bottom of the jacket, maybe. Those two straps at the front, I'm too sure. But they look really cool in red. Um, again, loads of really amazing details on the pants. I think they're little like mesh pockets or something on the side. Um, are those heat press zips or whatever they're called? Heat, heat sealed zips with no seam on them. They look really cool. I like the, oh, the long jacket, I kind of like now. It's, it's kind of like the, the kind of the Arsene Wenger sort of style jacket. The long down jacket that goes uh, just past your knees, uh, cool shorts. The chest rig has got this amazing mesh bit at the back, so you can see the Nike sign, which looks really interesting. I wonder how that is to run with the chest rig, especially if you've got your phone and stuff inside it. Will it be bouncing around, or is there sort of like a little uh, pouch that you can sort of like, you know, slip your phone in and it kind of stays in one place? That's the thing that I'm kind of worried about if I used to get that chest rig. Um, there's some sunglasses involved too, which is, looks really cool. I'm assuming the shoes are going to work well outdoors as well. We've got an appearance that from that celebrity trainer right there, the black guy on the left, I think so. The trainers are very interesting. I'm not, I've, I'm not very familiar with this model. Maybe it's a model, again, that Nike are trying to introduce to the market and they don't really know how to introduce it properly, so the best way to do it, you know, collaborate with a brand like Leaks or someone like Matthew Williams. He puts that brand endorsement in it. That thing sells like hotcakes and you kind of reissue it as a GR. The same thing they did with the Nike Reacts 87s and stuff. They look fairly cool. I quite like the colorway in the white and grays as opposed to the all black, which, you know, is crazy for me. But I like that they've got a nice ice translucent sole at the bottom. Again, they look really cool in this picture. Amazing, actually. I'm a big fan of all of it. It looks really, really nice. I'm not sure when this is going to come out, but this is really, really cool. Again, I'm just surprised why this hasn't taken off as big as it should have nowadays, especially with the loads of people within the streetwear or the fashion scene being hardened um enthusiasts for working out and stuff i'm surprised why some people haven't necessarily taken this especially you know some people because i'm not i'm not very picky about what i wear when i go to the gym i tend to just to wear whatever i have um but some people are really they really care about their outfits what kind of leggings and tights they have what kind of compression tops they have socks all that stuff so this would be the perfect thing to use but maybe it's maybe just a bit above people's price bracket i'm not too sure it is it probably is the same thing same amount of prices you pay if you were going to buy under armor and nike stuff anyway um but yeah interesting to see how this does actually as a collection in the stores i think it's probably a lot better than actually the camo stuff that they did previously i quite like this the red and black looks really nice again those shoes are really nice what 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 model is that I don't know what model shoe that is. What is that? It's probably available somewhere. But yes, available December 5th. We've got some different slides of the shoe. The trainer itself it looks really nice. Kind of reminds me of like an updated footscape. It's got some free and bits and pieces on it too, which is going to be cool, cool for this weather. Um, a real chunky, beefy sole. Sort of like moon boots. I like it, man. They sort of remind me of some Kobe's or something, right? A little bit. A little bit in that regard. Um, again, some really cool pieces here. I'm, I'm a fan of it all. It's going to be out December the 5th. Uh, check it out all your um local elix retailers i'm assuming right yeah probably so check it out if you're that way inclined